Welcome back on this Tuesday. We're now a little more than a month away from opening day of this year's Big E. And today, people lined up for their chance to work at one of the nation's largest fairs. Western Mass News' Wesley Days has the details. 38 days. Oh, my goodness. Let the countdown begin to the Big E. Before any ride can take off, any ring can be tossed, or funnel cake can be eaten, hiring has to take place. And for the long line of prospective employees, it may have been their lucky day. A variety of jobs in 10 departments were up for grabs at Tuesday's job fair. From working as a shuttle driver to helping direct visitors, there are many positions to choose from. One of those hired on the spot is Gwen Miller. She tells us the money she makes will be put to good use. I decided to plan and I'm going on a trip to Egypt in October. So this is my spending money for my trip to Egypt. For others, like job hunter Jezreel Lopez, she's hoping to work alongside her favorite attractions at the fair. Probably say the animals. I like the animals. I don't know, I just like pigs and all those animals. I like animals. But it takes more than just a resume to get a coveted role as an employee at the Big E. Jessica Fontaine, the Director of Education and Human Resources for the Eastern States Exposition, tells Western Mass News prospective employees also have to have personality. These are our frontline people. These are some of the first people who will greet our customers when they come to the fair. We strive for superior customer service and we're looking for people who want to enjoy the fair and enjoy the people who are coming in. And for Miller, she's looking forward to fulfilling Fontaine's task. I get to help the people out. I get to sit inside a little booth and I experienced a Big E. Even if you missed today's job fair, applications are still open until the Big E begins on September 15th. And if you want more information, head over to westernmassnews.com and click on the As Seen on TV link. Reporting in West Springfield, Wesley Days, Western Mass News.